focus is entirely on um, IT um, uh, services. So we, we do help businesses from, from and, and that extent, but um, I would say, yeah, we're kind of both businesses and, and technology wise. With um, Inside View, we used, uh, we had the uh, elite um, insights. Um, so okay. insights and then also data integrity. Back at the beginning of 2020, uh, Navisite essentially rebranded. We were four companies and then we kind of came together as one. And so with that kind of reemergence of, of, of one organization, there came a Definitely a need for uh, increased uh, data integrity, especially in Salesforce to ensure that we can uh, properly deduplicate all of the um, all the accounts, all the contacts, the leads that we all had in the system from all those multiple companies. Um, and then we can make sure that that data is uh, clean and refreshed. And so that was the big data push. Um, uh, at the beginning of uh, when I first joined Navisite, which was about the same time as when the two companies merged or the, uh, the four companies all merged together. At least, at least from a, a business perspective, because we operate so almost exclusively in Salesforce, ensuring that Salesforce is clean and functional is I would say the first and foremost and most important thing when it comes to our business. When it comes to um, the upsell, I would say that the tech stack data is 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 probably one of the most important things for us. Um, identifying where customers have us, where, where customers have certain technologies that we haven't actually pitched them to. So that is one way that we get the, is is, is um, um, that's one way that we we uh, determine the upsell uh, through that um, through that tech stack field. Um, but then we also do it uh, through trending topics. And so when a customer is researching a topic that is of interest to us, such as you know, Salesforce or SAP or Azure or AWS, well, then that is also a good indicator that if a customer has a high trending topic number, then that's a good indication to us that we should probably say, okay, well, why don't we reach out to them for an AWS deal if you know they have a trendy topic score of ninety four percent? So it's type, it's a topic that's for that's that that they're researching. It's a topic that we offer, and so it's it's you know that's a, that's a good indication for us to get ahead of um, to get ahead of the um, the um, uh, the sale and almost you know read the customer's mind in terms of what they may actually want. just going to be on the uh, number of uh, opportunities and the amount that we can basically pull in. Uh, so opportunities that were created as a result of information that was gleaned from, from inside view. And uh, basically the, the way that we were, were able to do that is um, we basically had these kind of quick create opportunities. So if you want to quick create a Salesforce opportunity that was found as a result of uh, from that inside view account plan, you basically just click one button It'll pull in all that information, uh, so it'll it'll attribute a lead source, um, a lead source to that, so we can basically get all that, uh, uh, all of the, um, all of the, uh, um, uh, make sure that the uh, that uh, inside view is getting credit for for that opportunity, and then from there we'll basically be able to pull in and uh, keep track of the pipeline that was generated from from uh, opportunities that were created as a result of inside view identified opportunities. I would say that um, with just like with um, with Salesforce, um, uh, demand base is basically the, the 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 two tools that the reps will be using every day. We have um, a pretty exceptional um, adoption rate. So uh, so ninety seven percent of our uh, sales users are using uh, demand base at least once a week, and eighty percent are using demand base at least once a day. It has also led reps to be more comfortable in terms of being able to feel like they can get their own, uh, also their own data maintenance under control. They don't necessarily need to rely on us. They can basically go to an, uh, just a, a contact that they have. They can click the refresh um, CRM button in one click and they can just have it all done. All the information is, is you know, up to date. Everything that they need 
um, is, is there. And so it gives the reps a lot of confidence that, you know, that they just wouldn't have otherwise. And um, that's kind of confidence that you almost just can't put a price on. I would say demand base wasn't actually the um, the initial um, um, way that we were going to create the account plan. So originally, we were going to have we were going to basically uh, 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 consult with a um, a, a company that specializes specifically in generating or creating account plans. Um, but basically, what I was saying was we can skip that part. Let's just do what we have with inside view with with demand bases information. We can take all. We can take the uh, account information. We can take the contact information. We can take the lead information. We don't need to create. We don't need to have those account plan generators. I can create that in Salesforce for us. We can skip the middleman, and we ended up saving about fifty thousand dollars. About oh. about a fifty thousand dollar engagement that otherwise would have had uh, would have uh, otherwise had to have been created otherwise. But um, we we basically took that away and. Um, $50,000 that we basically saved just by doing it for free in Salesforce using the oh. information. I would probably have to say the, the build the list feature. I think the build the list feature, it's just so easy to use. Um, you, you know, it's, we, we tend to have uh, training sessions for uh, all of our sales tools, but what I've tend to find is that the build the list feature is one that reps reps when they click it, they seem to know exactly where to go with everything. Um, it's very simple and easy to use, very intuitive, and it's um, it is it's such a powerful tool. The, the the amount of information and the amount of ways that you're you're able to parse that data is virtually endless. And I think that's what really gets the reps excited is the fact that they can find basically whatever customers that they want to find. And, uh, at their fingertips, um, and um, it's 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 just really it's a really exciting to uh, um, feature. But especially when when you're also able to take a list, um, you you don't necessarily have to um, uh, use a Salesforce related list, but you can basically type in the names of the accounts that you want to find, and that is also a huge huge help for the reps because sometimes they don't necessarily. They, they just you know may have a uh, basically a um, an output of a list that was provided pro, uh, pro, um, provided to them by you know maybe a manager and so they would just want to be able to put that information into a list build the list off of that they can run run data off of and the build the list feature has just been I think just extraordinarily um, useful and um, almost um, it's it's basically been a, a priceless tool we we couldn't we couldn't do our our um, our um, uh, lead lists and our lead generation list for our global prospecting days, frankly, without it. I would say that if you're if you're looking at certain companies, you're buying the name. You're not buying any any special more data. But what you're also paying is an enormous premium just to have the name. So what I would say is don't be don't don't necessarily be obsessed with um, the name of the company. With what we found with with um, with um, demand base is that uh, the reps have been able to go into the tool and they basically find it very intuitive. They don't there's there's a very small training um, uh, training component to it. So um, if ramp up time and getting the data into your system and uh, is 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 critical, then uh, finding a tool that is easy to use, especially from a user interface perspective. Is, is is absolutely fun is is, is actually uh, critical to um um to, to making that decision.